my name is Valerie. Um, I'm currently living in Hertfordshire and I'm in my 60s. I'm Colin and this is my boy Adam. Adam's an Alaskan Malamute. He, uh, he's had a double knee replacement. His cruciate ligament snapped when he was young. The nose gave him two new knees and he's never been happier, aren't you? You're paying free, boy. I've always been very active, but then in 1997 I had a really bad fall down some stairs when I was working as a tour leader and they recommended at that time a knee replacement and I said no, weren't there any other alternatives, so I had a reconstruction. So do you go walking all the time? We do walking holidays. Really? Skiing holidays. So what's the furthest and the nearest you've been on a walking holiday relative to where you live? I've done Nepal trekking. Oh, wow. I've walked the Inca Trail. Have you? How long is that? It's four nights under canvas and wow. five days walking. Wow. Is that how you wore out your knees? Probably. He was about 10 months old. We let him off lead in a secure field and he got about 10 yards and he just went over, screamed, snapped his cruciate ligaments. And three months later on New Year's Day, uh, he jumped on settee and snapped his other one. And the surgery from my local vet, it, it wasn't successful because he, he never keeps still and it just never healed proper. Oh, it was horrific. We thought we were going to have to put him down. I've been reading about knee surgery since my first accident. They were using carbon replacements for the ligaments and that hadn't really worked. So I went back to the, the surgeon and asked him what he thought and he thought reconstruction was the way to go. I had a reconstruction on the right one and the reconstruction worked really well but they did say only 15 years. So that it was only going to last 15 years? Yes, it just got to the point when the injections weren't working. Well Adam was in the same boat so he had arthritis in both knees real bad and medical management wasn't working. And yeah. what people don't actually uh, commonly realise is the exact same technology goes into him as you. And what's even more astounding is that lots of dogs give their lives to give humans knee replacements, hip replacements, shoulder replacements, in fact any joint replacement. In wow. the United Kingdom every year there's about three and a half thousand dogs that give their lives uh, to give humans safe drugs and implants. But the challenge is, can we move forward together? In other yeah. words, would it make sense to look at both knee replacements that you've had yeah. and Hello, the, the two knee Hello. replacements that he has had and study them together? <laughs> the principle of One Medicine is that if I can give a diseased dog or cat or any animal a solution to that disease and provide that animal with a better quality of life, can I in so doing share that information with humans and vice yeah. versa, yeah, if you yeah. have stuff, can we share that information back to the animal kingdom and learn together? What's truly amazing is that the anatomy between this dog and you is very, very similar. The physiology is very similar, so the heart rate and the nerve supply is very similar. How the bone grows into the metal is very similar. And the response to biology is very similar. So the risk of infection, the risk of complications is almost identical. Wow. So therefore, Adam is the perfect model for your yeah. surgery and vice versa actually yeah, you're the yeah. perfect model for his surgery yeah but at the moment we're not crossing over and we're no. not crossing over because we haven't built a platform to cross over wow uh, so adam is going to have a two-year checkup and that data will help him because it will adjudicate how he's doing and he's yeah. already been out sledding <laughs> unbelievably incredible but yeah. it'll also help other dogs and other humans that yeah. that data yeah. and to pay for a human study that went for two years will cost tens of millions. Wow. Tens of millions. That's amazing. In fact, most human studies cost 30 million plus. Whereas we that. can significantly decrease that cost by yeah. working together. And once you prove to the implant and the drug manufacturing industries that you can save them money, then they begin to listen. When I heard that animals were having the same type of surgery, I had no idea at all. It's been a real eye-opener. It's so impressive. I think there's a lot of parallels and I think, you know, definitely worth exploring. Before you came today, were you at all aware that uh, animals, just like Adam, give their lives to give humans knee replacements? 
I had no idea. I had no idea that this existed, that, that your research was going on. I'm, I'm just amazed. To me, it's such an original idea and yet such essential work. I can see now how the two would relate. It's so obvious. Well, it is, yes. It's like when cat's eyes on the side you. of the road. Yeah. But uh, until you think about it, it doesn't really sink in. No. And my job absolutely is to be the advocate for the animal. But in so doing, my second job is to look after the animal kingdom, the bigger picture. Yes. And we're part of the animal kingdom. We are, yeah, absolutely. And people forget that, but it'd be You're a right. very, very, very lonely place without dogs. Without people actually seeing you and the dog side by side, they don't make the link. Oh yeah, I think that's what people don't appreciate, that one day it might be them. Exactly. What a beautiful boy! I couldn't understand why there was this distinct separation between the two because there must be crossover somewhere and I think it's great that Noel is prepared to explore the crossovers. <laughs>